it was supposed to be up here earlier, but I was involved in some online conference, you know. A lot is going on right now online and a lot of collaboration, a lot of inquiry, a lot of consultation. People want to know what's working and what's not working. Yes, as the title suggests, why it's on down an acting role in a porn movie. Will that surprise you? Well, everybody has a story and this is a story I would like to share with you today to put things in perspective that you know my journey thus far in life ever since I left Nigeria for Australia. Yes, that's not been rosy, but then one thing I want you to understand today from this story is the fact that whenever we make Life is all about choices. We decide, we make decisions every day. And from this story, you're going to understand the power of yes and no. Yes is a decision. No is a decision. This is something I learned from my late father. Anyway, so as the story goes, when I got into Australia in 2014, uh -huh, six months into my journey in Australia, I lost my father and then I was in school doing my master's program. So you know how bloody expensive it is to run a master's program you know, for international students. I ran out of money. I had no source of um, financial support. And then and there, I was now exposed to hardship. So in my quest of supporting myself financially, running around trying to buckle up some cash, you know, to support myself in order to finish, complete my studies. Some blogs walked up to me. It was a particular evening, it was at night, I was waiting for a couple of friends and they approached me and said, dude, you, you're, you're, you're such a smart looking dude. You got a beautiful skin, a smooth skin and all whatnot, sharing all the encomiums on me. You know, he said, um, he made further inquiries about where I was from and all whatnot, and made the offer that we would like to make um, some good money, become a star, and blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, fine, you know, just like every other person, just to have a conversation, you know, and start to keep myself busy. He told me that you're yeah, a perfect fit for the role I have, you know, one shoot a movie and all whatnot. He kept on talking because. Little did they know that I actually am into movies myself. You know, I love, back home in Nigeria, I train people, I train kids, teaching them how to make videos and whatnot. And he told me, yeah, he's got a, a movie, a porn movie, and he needs me to stare in it, that you see, you enjoy yourselves, they are beautiful ladies and all whatnot. And I said, well, at that point, I decided to, should I say, bamboozle him myself. I was like, okay, fine. I'm very selfish. I can't sleep with another lady. I can't sleep with ladies with another guy. One, two. You will have to consider the offer. Then it has to be like nine digits. And the guy laughed, Baloney, nine digits, man. Everybody he was mentioning names. This was how they started and all that. I said, yeah, that's them. I'm different. If you can give me nine digits, maybe I might give it a look in. And, you know, I left, you know, we met. But somehow, somewhere, this guy had a way of always trying to track me down. Because where he met me, I usually go around that corner to wait for a friend, you know, that neighborhood and all whatnot. The question was, at that point in time, he made the offer. It was a mouth-watering offer. And um, I said, no. When I go back to my, you know, apartment, where I stay, the question I asked myself, why did you say no? I told a friend of mine, guy was like, wow. That's an offer. You need money right now, like every other person, you know, my I said, yeah, I know I need money. I've got money. What he threw at me was currency. Then and there, you ask yourself why you said no. And the reason is this is the fact that there's something inside. There was something inside me 
that was a whole lot bigger than what he had to offer. And that's one word, integrity. If you've got something, like my late father will always say that you might, if you lose everything, don't lose your faith, don't lose your integrity. Now, if I had given him a yes, this is the power of decision. When I say yes, I'm unconsciously saying no to so many other things. And whenever I say no, I'm consciously saying yes to other things. Now, if I had said yes to him, then maybe this would have not been possible. The images you're about to see. This would have not been possible. I might not have the opportunity to educate this lady. I might not have the opportunity to meet with these ladies, making them happy by training them. I would have said, my yes to that offer, it was unconsciously and unknowingly saying no to all these ladies and all the successes they achieved. It's unconsciously and unknowingly saying no to all these achievements. That's what life is all about. All these beautiful faces, I won't have met them. I won't have known them and they won't have known me. Okay, probably they might have known, maybe they would have known me because pornography is everywhere and all whatnot. But the fact remains that at that point in time, I needed money. I needed cash. But then there was something greater in me. Like I said, I trained kids. Back home, I, was, I trained youths, so I was like, if I say yes to this guy, I'm not helping the youths I trained back home. I'm saying no to their dreams. I'm saying no to their future. Now, to cut the whole story short, this was one of the conference, I just had a consultation meeting with someone and she was sharing her story, my journey to freedom, how have family ran out of Vietnam in a quest for safety and freedom. They went by boat into Canada. A migrant, I know how the story is. I know how, how, how what life is like for a migrant because that, these are the people that I interface with almost every week. Tend to train them, help them, get them stabilized emotionally, mentally and financially. I'm just preparing you now. We are getting close to 7th of August, which is the lunch date. So what you, would you take this chance for freedom? Chase down and killed on the hunt, die at sea because you run out of water, food or gas, or was caught by pirates, raped or kept as a sex slave or killed. It's that simple. Life is all about choices, decisions. You make decisions. Either to live or to die. To quit or to hold on. And let me give you the final word here. When we hear that word decision, decision is actually preventing the death of something. You know, well, I did a research. When you decide, this side is the same thing. You are, you, you, you are reframing from that because the side is actually um, from um, the family. is in the same family with suicide, family of words like suicide, pesticide, genocide, homicide. They are all involving death. So when you decide, you're actually reframing from killing something. So three weeks ago, I told you about how Bobby, a father in Pakistan, you know, refrained from committing suicide. He decided to leave. That was him now saying no to death 
and yes to life. And yes to life had so many, uh, uh, should I say, uh, how do I put it, fruits. Yes to his, his daughters. Yes to their future. Yes to their success. And that's why I told him, I said, you are there, you, 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 your, your being alive is going to be their best chance at being successful. If you had committed suicide, man, you've already exposed those beautiful girls to some crazy life that you would never, ever even imagine while alive. You've exposed them to some risk, to some, you know, they could become anything, anything apart from being successful. They become prostitutes. These are stories. I have so many to tell. Come 7 of August when we lunch. That's the reason why I put the system together and put the platform together to help people, not just here in Australia, but Overseas, you understand, I'm talking about now. Quite a number of people, you know, want to change their lives. A lot of people were looking, they want to bet, improve the lives of their family, they want to improve the, 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 the situation they find themselves in. And it's, I feel really, really, I feel, really, how would I put it now? At times, I, I, when I think about it, that people are taking risk putting their future in jeopardy. And the flip side of it, you have regular people just making a living online. Regular people, everyday people. These are not people, these are not celebrities in quotes. These are not um, experts in quotes. They are just regular people. In fact, this is a story of another crypto artist. I just, that report just got to me. It is in India. Just a regular guy. <laughs> he is a software developer by profession, but he just tumbled into the crypto art world too. And he just made a hundred, some hundred thousands of dollars online selling a crypto artwork. Passively, he made that while he was sleeping. This, nobody knew him, his name is Hazan. Now, because of that sale, he's become kind of like popular. So I just want to leave you with this in mind. I have to go back right now. This is um, 6 a.m. right here in Sydney, Australia. Yes, Friday is around the corner, um, 7 of August is around the corner. So this is Friday, this Friday. It's Friday, it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. So I wish you a happy and lovely weekend. It's um, um, month ending, July is wrapping up and August is ushering in. So it's gonna be a beautiful month, month of August. Happens to be my month. If you are born in August, it's gonna be a beautiful month. It's going to be wonderful. So get ready for celebration you understand what i mean now so this is friday have a lovely weekend i'll be back again on wednesday so remain blessed remember stay alive it's when you're alive that's when you have a chance at success it will be well peace out